Hey y'all, welcome to Kansai Ben Part 2 HD version, right? I'm really actually hoping this whole HD thing kind of raises my cool level because you know like messing around the internet all day doesn't really help all that much, you know, unless one day like actual, you know, Facebook friends actually start to equal real friends, then psh, damn, then I'm gold. I'm like that popular douche kid that you all hated. Oh yeah, can't wait for that day to come. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Um, Kansai Ben also has different connotations or stereotypes, right? Um, like most accents and locations do. So for example, I live in California, right? Uh, if you live in California, we, we are all movie stars and, uh, and surfers, as, as you can tell, right? <laughs> um, Texas, right? Cowboys and, and horses. Yeah, if you live in Texas, you're either, you're either a cowboy or you're a horse. Um, Japan also has that. Um, not cowboys and horses, depends, it's too small for that. They have, they have small dogs instead, little small doggies. Um, but <laughs> Kansai people are said to be kind of the uh, Americans of Japan, actually. Because as you might have heard, Japan is pretty, they're pretty reserved, they're pretty polite, they're very formal, right? They have a lot of different formal speech patterns and stuff like that. And they're usually not very talkative to strangers. And Kansai peeps are actually said to be, you know, a little bit more talkative to strangers, a little bit less reserved, a little bit more loud, right? They're a little bit more open up. They open up to people a little bit more, kind of like, kind of like Americans, right? We open up to, it's like we open up a little bit too much to where like all our goods are hanging out. You know what I mean? But you get the idea. The two other things Kansai Band is known for is comedians and Yakuza, right? Japanese mafia. Kind of a weird combination there. But, um, you know, so if you, a lot of stand up comedians, they're from a Kansai area that has that, they have that association there. And then also a lot of Yakuza folks, the Japanese mafia folks, are also for some reason associated with Kansai. Um, yeah, so if you're from Kansai, then you're either funny or very scary. Kind of like girlfriends. Oh no, it's my Period? <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, in terms of anime, there's always usually one stereotypical character, for some reason, that is the, from the Kansai region. Almost in every single anime, there's always like one guy that speaks the Kansai Ben. Sometimes there's more, but usually there's usually like one guy. Right? I don't know why. Um, some common examples though are Kawachi Kyosuke from Yakitate Japan, Fujino Shizuru from My Hime, Mitsune Kono from Love Hina, Ichimaru Gen from Bleach, and Kasuga Ayumu from Azumanga Daio. And of course, there's many, many more where that came from. Now, as for specific vocabulary in uh, Kansai Ben, I'm actually gonna save that for another video because it can kind of go, kind of go on for quite a bit because there's quite a few. Um, but the most part, what I wanted to point out though with this one video is I wanted to quell some worries that people have about when they're learning Japanese because they're like, wow, there's more dialects than just the regular one? That's, that sucks, I'm gonna have to learn all this stuff. As you can see with this video, it's pretty standard. If you understand the regular Tokyo Ben, right? Or Kyojun Go is another word for that. That's, that means standard language, right? Then you can pretty much understand Kansai Ben in most of the dialects, no problem, right? Um, there's gonna be a few different words. Here and there, you'll pick them up really quickly. There's not too many, right? I mean, if anything, what Kansai Ben is, as well as the other dialects do for the language is just add a little bit more character to the language, as well as, you know, personalize it a little bit, give some personality to it, which is something I've always loved about Japanese. Oh, and one last thing, it's currently one more week to the uh, what it's really like in Japan video series that I'm gonna do for y'all. So, if you haven't heard, if you didn't see last week's video, I'm gonna do like kind of like a vlog slash video, uh, video series things where I go to Japan one week. I'm gonna be leaving in one week. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna show you what it's really like to live there, to stay there. I'm gonna show you all kind of cool little tips and tricks how to uh, you know save money when being there because you can actually spend quite a bit of money actually going to Japan as you probably know, right? Plane tickets are crazy. I'm gonna show you how to get really cheap plane tickets. I'm gonna show you the whole thing via camera, right? That's why I got this new, actually fancy video camera, <laughs> so I can actually take it with me to Japan and it doesn't look hideous like my previous camera. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and go there with this camera. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna, it's gonna be really raw, uncut footage with just me and you in Japan, basically. I'm gonna go through all different things. I'm gonna go to um, convenience stores, which are really popular. I'm gonna show you where I'm staying. I'm gonna show you how to actually survive, and not just that, but actually have the time of your life in Japan, because it really can be the time of your life. But it can also be a nightmare if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't have you know, a lot of money to spend because Japan can be very expensive if you don't know the tricks to actually getting along there. And, uh, and if, especially if you don't speak the language. So I'm actually gonna go there. We're gonna go to Osaka, Japan. That's why we're doing this whole Kansai Ben video series, right? If you remember, if you haven't seen the, the other video. And we're gonna actually do all this stuff. 
So it's going to be really, really awesome. So make sure you keep your eye out next week and the following weeks. It's probably going to be a couple weeks long, this whole Japanese video uh, vlog thing where we're in Japan, right? Um, so keep a lookout for that. It's going to be really awesome. going to be really exciting. You're going to learn a lot and you're, it's going to be really fun. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's about it for today. That's about it for today's Ken HT ver HT HD version, right? Um, yeah, learn how to talk before you press the on button for the camera, Ken. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and say bye bye. Bye. A little bit less polite, a little bit more loud. You know what I mean? Kind of like kind of like Americans, right? You know, what I mean? except we. Um, never mind. Um, yeah. So if you're a yeah. So if you're from Kansai, yeah. So if you speak Kansai, you're either very funny. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, so if you're from, um, yeah, so if, now as for specific vocabulary um, of Kansai Ben, there's, there's quite a few, but I'm actually going to save that for another video because it can kind of go on. Um, there's quite a bit of specific vocabulary, specific vocabulary, specific vocabulary, yes, yes. Did you guys know, you guys are at home,